What's up guys, Mitten Kids here, I'm Adrian. I'm Ashley. And uh, as you may know, tomorrow is Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday! And this is our special Fat Tuesday edition of the Mitten Kids. So uh, we're gonna kick it off like we uh, normally do. And we got some fan art. It's pretty consistent, so I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, thanks guys. Yeah, we got another submission from one of my coworkers um, from my Spanish team. Uh, they drew the mitten with the Mexican flag. It says, Viva the Mitten Kids! Is that Mexican? Does that sound Spanish? Does that sound festive? <laughs> they all signed, the whole uh, Spanish team signed it, and they said, Love Spanish team. Well, so, Spanish team, guess what? We love you. What's the Spanish team? Do they translate? Well, they take all Spanish calls. Okay! Yeah. Good job, guys! <laughs> yeah, so, you know, they, uh, Make sure they coordinate that the lawn is done correctly, that all the landscaping is done, all the, uh, you know, uh, house. Okay, so the next one is for my friend and co-worker, Nene. Um, from our Versus Meyer video, if you guys remember, we taste tested some Jif, and I knew my Jif bitch. And that was her favorite part, so she put, I know my Jif bitch. Sweet. Thanks, Nene. And as usual, we're going to go ahead and take our fan art and we're going to post it on our mitten wall. And as you can see, it's getting pretty full. So thank you, everybody, who's been uh, submitting their fan art. And if you have not featured on our wall yet, go ahead and submit your fan art to our Facebook page and use the hashtag DrawMK. Thanks, guys. Thanks. In the spirit of Fat Tuesday, our friend Jason got us... Bochkis! Thanks, Jason. Thank you, Jason. So basically, our friend Jason challenged us to a challenge. He challenged us to a challenge. Yeah, he challenged us to a challenge. Um, basically, what he did is he purchased six regular filled punchkis. He then purchased six empty ones, and he filled them himself with condiments from his home. <laughs> they are they were put into two different boxes um, I presented them on the plate they all look exactly the same I can't tell so we're gonna play a little game called how, how much do you know, know fat Tuesday <laughs> basically what we're gonna do we pulled up uh, a little game trivia game on the computer what we're going to do is we're gonna read you the question we're gonna try to answer it and here's what happens Basically, the person who gets the question right chooses the punchki for both players. One point for getting the question right, both players must take a large bite from the punchki. But, whichever player or players get a bad punchki, they will earn an extra point if they swallow their bite. The loser of this game of six rounds must eat an entire bad punchki. Are you ready to start the game? No. Okay. Hit the music. <laughs> I think it's okay. It's good. Okay, cool. Here's the first question. The first Mardi Gras in America took place in Galveston, Texas, New Orleans, Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama, New Ebria, Louisiana, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, I feel like I'm gonna get this wrong because it's too obvious, but I'm gonna say New Orleans. Incorrect. Damn it. The correct answer was Mobile, Alabama. Mobile! I am going to choose mine first. I'm gonna grab this one. And I'm gonna give you that one. First donut, cheers. I got wrapped. I got red. I got green. Oh! <laughs> so bad. Ashley got it wrong, but I got one point because I swallowed my entire bite. What a load of shit. Here we go. This is my question. The three colors of Mardi Gras, purple, green, and gold, represent A, justice, faith, and power, B, family, God, and country, C, truth, justice, and forgiveness, or D, love, peace, and happiness. <sighs> I, I'm gonna, I don't think it's family, God, and country just for the simple fact that they show their tits. Uh, I don't know, that's not very family friendly. So I'm gonna go with love, peace, and happiness, D. Oh, 
The correct answer was justice, faith, and power. Justice, faith, power. Yeehaw! Go ahead, Ashley. I don't know, there's just like, there's literally just orange hanging out of this thing. I didn't even look, I just looked at it just now, there's a little bit of orange. I don't want to smell it because I might yak. I really hope one of these is hot sauce. Fuck, it might be. Damn it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Big bite, ready? Go. Go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I got buffalo sauce. <laughs> I got jelly. Oh. Is it good? No. This is actually bad for me, because I should be getting bad ones. It tastes like a sweet barbecue wing. Oh. <laughs> is it better than the ranch? No, I'd rather eat the ranch one. That was terrible, but I still get a point. <laughs> Ashley, true or false? By law, Mardi Gras floats riders always must wear a mask. I'm just going to say true. Correct! All right, score is two to one, and Ashley gets to pick again. You got the vlog. Okay. And I'm gonna take this one. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> oh, thank God. Jelly. Wait, I, I don't know, vanilla? <laughs> no, all right. Hidden inside each king cake, the traditional cake of Mardi Gras, is a candle, a raisin, a crown or a plastic baby figurine. That's crazy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the raisin. My gut is telling me raisin. <laughs> it was a plastic baby figurine. It's so dumb. <laughs> I knew it. <sighs> All right. That's yours. Okay. This is mine. All right. Where's the hole? Uh. I got mustard. Oh. That's pretty good. Wait, what kind of mustard did you do? Wait. I actually kind of really enjoy the mustard filling. Wait, this is different. What is it? It's not mustard. It's a... Cheese? I don't know. I think so. Queso? <laughs> yeah. I think this is queso. Is it good? It was weird at first because it was salty, but like, it's okay. This is good. Can it donut? Yes. yes. <laughs> Three to two. All right, this one's yours, Ashley. Which one of these items is traditionally known at Mardi Gras spectators? Beads? Come on. Coconuts, cups, doubloons, and all of the or all of the above. Ooh. I'm gonna say. Which is traditionally thrown? I'm gonna say. All of the above. I mean, I've never heard of the coconut thing. So all of the above? Yeah. Submit. Correct, damn it! Yes! Oh, it three, is 3-3. Three. Three, three. <laughs> Literally all my points have been given to me because I've been eating crap. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God! There's garlic, like the... <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, I can't. Mine was cream. <laughs> oh, garlic. that's horrible. <clears throat> that's like, yeah, it's the garlic, it's like garlic sauce. Ew. Oh, God. Okay, if I win, this is the one you're eating. Yeah. This one's mine. Super Sunday in New Orleans is the Sunday of parades before Fat Tuesday, the Sunday closest to St. Joseph's Day, the Sunday before Easter, or the Sunday when Mass Mardi Gras cruise host masked balls? What? I don't know. <laughs> I want to say that Super Sunday is the Sunday closest to St. Joseph's Day, significant to Mardi Gras Indians. Can I use a lifeline? No. Correct! Yes! You suck! Yes! All right, and this is our final one. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give you this one. And I'm gonna get this one. Cheers. Here we go. Oh my god. 
see I'm having a garlic donut. You got garlic? No. Oh. Uh, oh. Where is that? Mustard again. <laughs> but it's a different mustard, I think. <laughs> I've literally gotten all the bad ones and only one good one. <laughs> uh, but I powered through it. So the score for the year is tied, right? One, one. I'm gonna put a little bit of everything on there. There's a little bit of buffalo there. It's a good thing I like buffalo. <laughs> and here's a little bit of more mustard. All right, this is like not even a good punishment for Ashley, but she gets to eat this entire half donut of filled with garlic, uh, chipotle mayo, buffalo sauce, and what I believe is two different mustards. My stomach is not feeling too good right now. So while she eats that, I'm gonna do the plugs and eat. Alright guys, thanks so much for uh, watching our episode this week. We'd like you guys to, as always, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let us know. Give us another challenge. Uh, clearly, we're going to do it. Okay? So, um, other than that, we're going to see you guys over at Extra Mittens where you can catch extra footage, extra coverage, and the bloopers from this, uh, from this episode. And with that being said, Mitten Kids signing off. Adrian. Uh, <laughs> See ya. It tasted like a hot dog. I don't know. It just tasted like a hot dog with extra condiments in it.